Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Marcus Murray, and I'm here with my lovely wife, Shira Murray. And we are back for part three of our Black Married and Debt Free Emergency Savings video series. Wow, that was a mouthful, you know, that, 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 yes. that was a lot to say. But we're glad you're here with us. We're going to be showing you 25 ways to build your emergency savings. Keep watching. agree that having a stash of cash or an emergency fund is important, yet many Americans struggle to save one. In fact, there was a bank rate study that found that 63% of Americans don't have enough savings to cover a $500 emergency. Having an emergency fund greatly improves your ability to recover from financial hardship. It is also foundational to wealth building. So if you have little to no savings, we recommend that you start with a $500 goal. Saving just $500 will boost your confidence to save more. And we wanna challenge you to commit to saving this goal in the next 30 days. Building your emergency savings may take a little bit of creativity and ingenuity, but we are going to provide you with ways to save and earn your way to that goal. Number one is pay yourself $125 a week or just $17 a day for 30 days. Way number two, eliminate all non-essential expenses and put that money towards your $500 goal. So some non-essential expenses may include gym membership fees and cable. Number three, that's right, dig under your sofa, grab those coins, empty those piggy banks, exchange your coins for cash, be sure to avoid kiosks that have high service fees, and you may want to even find a bank that accepts coins. Number four, help save lives by donating plasma. If you donate plasma over a 30-day period, you may be able to earn up to $250. You know what, Shara, that one is really near and dear to me because I do work at a blood bank, and every donation does save lives, so I think that's a really good one. Number five, reduce eating out and fast food purchases. With the average fast food meal costing $10, cutting back one meal per week can save you $40 within the next 30 days. Number six, organize a crock pot surprise. Now one of my coworkers started this a few months ago and it has been amazing. Basically, each person in the office brings something to throw into the crock pot. We cross our fingers and hope for the best, but each week, it turns out amazing. So participating in this has allowed me to save on my lunchtime spending because typically I'm able to go into my cabinet and find something that I haven't used to just throw into the pot. Number seven, say goodbye, well, at least temporarily, to your name brand coffee. By cutting back one coffee a week, you'll be able to save $20 within the next 30 days. Number eight, it said that one man's trash is another man's treasure. So if you have things that are just lying around the house, go ahead and sell it. Put it on Craigslist, or you can even check out OfferUp.com to get rid of some of the things that are just lying around. Number nine, you can drive with Uber or Lyft. A recent survey found that Uber drivers average $15.68 per hour, and Lyft drivers average $17.50 per hour. Driving just eight hours a week in most areas will get you $500 within the next 30 days. Number 10, don't like the idea of driving around strangers? Well, let a stranger drive your car. Toro.com allows you to rent out your car and keep 90% of the profit. Their online calculator shows you your earning potential and you will be well on your way to your $500 goal. Number 11, sell baked goods to family and friends. I have known several people that have done this quite successfully. They typically do it around the holidays. They specialize in something, whether it's cookies or sweet potato pies, and they get a list, fill the orders, make a little side money. Number 12 is to have a family car wash. Now, most car wash events are for good causes, and I think securing your financial future sounds like a good one. All you have to do is grab a bucket, some towels, and hey, get out there and start earning some money. Number 13, become a Tackle On Demand home service provider. Earn your way to $500 by doing household tasks of your choice. More information can be found at Tackle.com. 
Number 14, babysit for family or friends for a small fee. Number 15, get a side job. The federal minimum wage is $7.25, but chances are you live in a state that pays a little bit more. And working a little over two eight-hour shifts over four weeks will get you $500. Number 16, rent out a spare room in your home, collect first month's rent and a deposit, and boom, goal accomplished. Number 17, exchange your unused gift cards for cash. Websites like raise.com and cardpool.com will pay up to 96% of your gift card's value. Number 18, reduce your grocery bill by participating in meatless Mondays. Meat is typically more expensive than other proteins like beans and lentils. Save money by preparing one meatless meal per week. Give it a try. Number 19, you can also reduce your grocery bill by eliminating foods that provide little to no nutrition. The cost of bag snacks and box juices can really add up. So save a little money by eating fresh and drinking water. Hey, it's free. Number 20, sell your gently used clothes or baby items to consignment stores. Number 21, become an Airbnb host. You can host your space, co-host for a neighbor, or even host a unique experience like hiking or some type of traveling excursion, all while working towards your goal. Number 22, have a knack for crafts. Open a virtual shop to sell your creations. Many websites will allow you to promote your products. Some will even allow you to do it for free. If this is your gift, Give it a try. You might even start a business in the process. Number 23. Have you ever wondered what to do with all those thousands of photos you have in your phone and in your computer? Become a Shutterstock.com contributor. You can earn income selling royalty-free images, footage, and illustrations. Number 24. Do you work in the field of education? Teachers Pay Teachers is a website that allows teachers to sell original educational handouts and materials. Visit TeachersPayTeachers.com to see how you can begin earning. Number 25, sell customized t-shirts and other products online. With the popularization of drop shipping, more and more people are creating products with little to no upfront cost. Number 26, everyone is good at something, whether it's braiding hair, baking pies, solving quadratic equations, whatever it is, your talent, your gift, use it to create a product. Do something like a webinar and charge a fee so people can learn your unique knowledge. Number 27, you can organize a community soccer, basketball, or football league and charge a player fee. Number 28, sell your old cell phone or computer for cash. Kiosks like Eco ATM will pay you instantly for recycling your devices. Number 29, have you had a recent big accomplishment at work? Well, now may be the perfect time to ask for that raise. Last but not least, number 30. Apply for that dream job. It might be time for you to step out of your comfort zone and into something new. This may be an effective way to earn a little bit more and that will help you to reach your goal. Once you save this $500, it's important to place it into a separate account aside from the one you use for everyday spending. You may even want to consider placing it into a money market account for a higher interest rate and easy access in case of an emergency. Try to avoid accounts with maintenance fees as this may deplete what you've saved. Also, remember your emergency savings is just for that, emergency. So we recommend that you refrain from borrowing from yourself so the money is there when you need it. So we would like to take this time to thank you for watching this video series and we are confident that some of the things that we share with you will go a long way to helping you to build that emergency savings. So till next time, this is Marcus Murray and my lovely wife, Shire Murray, and we are black, married, and, and debt free. free.